Hello brethren, I am Brother Zana David. Welcome to Ego Ayopuna. It's a moment we excavate the hidden truth. I am not really happy about the situation of the modern Christian. The average modern Christian today has been misled. In case you are not a believer and you come across this video, I just want to tell you that what you see uh, among the average Christian is not the truth because majority of Christians have been deceived. They believe that God's grace covers their sin, but God's grace is a teacher. The Bible says in uh, Titus chapter 2 verse 11 following that the grace of God that brings their salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying, denying on, uh, godly, ungodly lust and worldly passion we should live soberly even as we wait for the coming of jesus christ the second appearing of our lord in a sinful world like this but there are so many false preachers so many false prophets who are teaching people what the people want to hear and i tell you that each time those people teach their false doctrine they deny god the opportunity to speak to his children each time if you are a false prophet each time you tell the people what they want to hear you deny god the opportunity to address his beloved children to talk to his children especially those who he really loves and those who are going astray please don't be discouraged by the situation we find ourselves in the world today. If you have been deceived, please go back to your Bible. It is our drawing board. It is the map that God has given to us. It is the directory through which we can escape um, the corruption in the world and the impending judgment of God. If you have been deceived, please pray very well. I feel very bitter when people choose deliberately to obey their pastors rather than God. Uh, we know that uh, right from time, the Pope, the position of the papacy is, is in rebellion against God and they teach their members. The average Roman Catholic member believes that the Pope has the right to alter the Bible because that is actually what their doctrine says. They believe that they have the right to alter the Word of God and obey the Pope. In fact, infallibility of the Pope that the Pope does not do mistakes. He can never do wrong at all because, but because they believe that he is uh, the vicar of God. He represents God in the world. But a lot of people have been deceived. Even so many Pentecostal pastors and prophets, preachers, choose to tell the people what they want to hear. And a lot of people today believe them rather than believe in the Word of God. Okay, what is biblical in if a prophet comes to you and tells you that the Holy Spirit tells me that I should sleep with you and that the demons will leave you. And a lot of people gladly submit because they feel that these people who have been deceived will give them freedom. How can the word of God go in case uh, the, the word of God, how can somebody says this is what the, the God says? And it will go against the written word of God. Any prophecy that goes against the word of God is false. We shouldn't believe it. Even when people say that uh, God said this, God says that, and uh, it is not in line with the word of God, we should know that they are false prophets and we have to run away from them. But it is very painful that there are so many people in the world today who believe that God is speaking through some uh, bands of prophets and that uh, whatsoever thing they say is final and they have been trained to believe that. Uh, so today, pastors, these pastors and prophets have become, have taken over the place of God. This They have the final say according to their followers and themselves. Whatever, whatsoever thing they say stands, even when God says, go to the south and they are saying, go to the north, they are members. We quickly go to the north, and it is painful when I hear members, church members, saying, uh, "My pastor said, Papa said, Gio said, my prophet said." Uh, it's very, very painful that instead of quoting the Bible, they are not quoting prophets. But I tell you the truth: if you go to hell with these people, 
you will cry and cry your eyes out, but it will be too late. So why don't you follow the truth? Why don't you follow the Bible? I know a few times I've come out to say, no, this person is false. The Lord told me this person is false. You see comments, people firing me. Why must you say this? Even those people, even like prophets or war, who said that God calls him, my Lord, my Lord. People believe that a human being uh, God we call a human being my lord my owner this is an insult but even when prophets even a, 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 a prophet asking his members to eat rats to eat lizards to eat uh, grasses people quickly obey they don't care so we have to stay away from this corruption the bible says in Matthew chapter 24 verse 24 that first prophets uh, first Christ shall arise and they shall deceive many and they are everywhere today deceiving people don't be a victim stay away from them and obey your Bible obey Jesus Christ obey the Holy Spirit stop obeying your pastors when they are rebelling against God don't join the rebellion because majority I mean majority of today's pastors and prophets are going to hell they know that they are going to hell and they don't care because they need your money they need to make a name they need to enjoy themselves they are like people who have joined secret society secret societies to live for some few days provided they get the money so please please i beg of you please love your soul love your spirit because you are going to fight behind your pastor or your pastor is going to fight behind you on the day of judgment they you are not going to stand before them and give account to them both you me and those prophets that are deceiving you we will all face the judgment of god so if all of us are accountable to god why not you obey god why choose to obey the devil and obey his ministers instead of obeying God. Stay away from them and love your soul. Uh, you can even make up your mind that as God, as much as God helps me, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to run for solution. I'm going to seek God myself. And I encourage believers, I encourage Christians. God is everywhere. Instead of running from one country to the other, looking for men of God who will cast out demons, who will prophesy to you. Why not you go on fasting? Why not you stop sinning? Why not you, as a believer, why not you cry to Jesus Christ? Jesus said that we should have faith in God. Uh, Mark 11, 22, have faith in God that we should believe. And whenever we pray, we should believe that we have received. So have faith, stop sinning and believe in Jesus Christ. He's going to help you out. The prophets of today, majority of them, I know they are genuine ones, but majority of them are taking people to hell and don't give your soul to them. Love you so Thank you. God bless you. If this video blesses you, please share it and follow me, Iguayopuna. Visit my website, iguayopuna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you. God bless you. Once again, I'm Brother Osana David. Bye-bye.